So I've been noticing lately that a lot of players aren't actually grabbing the helicopter. At least from my experience, I've seen player after player sometimes beating me to a landing spot, but instead of grabbing the helicopter, they just go around and loot instead. So I'm going to give you guys my top reasons why you should be grabbing and using the helicopter in Battlefield 5's Firestorm. The first is to get the positional advantage on an enemy player. Over and over again, I'll be flying around and seeing players distracted by looting, trying to cap an objective, or battling another enemy player on the actual map. You don't know how easy it's been to just fly my helicopter down to a spot that I felt would favor the weapon I had equipped. I've done everything from landing on top of buildings to positioning myself on top of a hill. It's a great way to not only position yourself, but to get the jump on a player, especially ones who are preoccupied with other things. Hell, it's even great when you swoop down and try to splatter a player really quick. The sheer excitement of just attempting these things, even if you fail, is still enough of a reason in itself in my opinion to make you want to make a mad dash to the first available helicopter you see on the map. There's no denying that you'll attract a lot of attention. I think that's one real big reason a lot of players want to avoid using it. And I'm not saying you should be flying around the helicopter at the final circle, but definitely around the first few. Because attracting all the attention is half the fun. Little do the enemy players seem to know right now that unless you have something like a Panzerfaust, their little sniper shots against my helicopter isn't really doing me that much damage, and instead it's just alerting me to their location of where they're hiding at. Even if you don't want to play aggressive and want to play more tactical, limiting your risk of dying, you still want to be flying around. Because when you attract that attention, all the enemy players are doing is one, alerting where they are at to you, and two, alerting all the players around them with the sound of their gunfire. They're very much better off either having a plan like trying to bait you with their small damage sniper shots to try to attract you closer so you feel overly confident that you can hover around them and suffer their punitive damage they're delivering to your helicopter all day long to them quickly pulling out their Panzerfaust that they have hiding behind their back and destroying you in one shot. So do proceed with caution but after that their best bet is just staying quiet on the map. Really it's up to you then to go fly into an area where you know you could land safely and cover all your angles, maybe on top of a hill or on a building where you have a good line of sights, or just fly across the map. The best part is, even if you land a place where you don't feel it's a good position, well you can just jump right back in the helicopter and find a spot that suits you more. Another great thing is you can fly around the outer circle and you are bound to catch a player trying to play the circle. And now not only do they have to deal with the collapse of Ring of Fire, but now they have to deal with your helicopter as well. Easily you have the ability to swoop down and take them out. They're usually much more conflicted in battling you because unlike you, they don't have the luxury of jumping right back into the helicopter and flying out of the Ring of Fire that's collapsing in. So they have a lot more to be concerned about, which usually makes for poor decisions on their part and easy kills for you. And that's just me talking about attacking enemy players. I haven't got into the looting side of things yet. With a helicopter, there's no place you can't loot. Maybe you want to play less aggressive? Well, you'd want to jump right into the helicopter and go fly off to the edge of the map and find a quiet looting spot. I think there's another big reason people don't want to grab the helicopter. They so quickly want to find loot first. They don't realize you can just grab the helicopter, fly off to the area of the map that's out of the way and less occupied, and have plenty of time to loot in peace and jump right back in the helicopter when the ring of fire starts to close in and fly yourself out unscathed. The helicopter is also a great way to capture objectives. You can actually hover the helicopter just above the capture zone and the ticker will actually begin to move. This is a great way to approach this because instead of just sitting down on the zone helplessly alerting every enemy player your location, you're capable of just flying off and avoiding the confrontation if you want. Like I mentioned earlier, it attracts a lot of attention so if you're concerned someone's baiting you to try to cap the objective so they can pop out of the shadows and get the jump on you, just hover around it for a little bit. Like I mentioned earlier, you either start to attract a lot of gunfire with the majority of gunfire you do receive just going straight to your helicopter. Sometimes the damage is so minimal and I'm hardly concerned that I just continue to hover just above the objective and I'll finish capping it and then just jump out and pick up the loot despite the enemy trying to snipe me. Because I can easily pick up the item I want, jump back into the helicopter and fly off. But maybe the enemy player is putting more severe damage onto you. Well go fly off and gather yourself and then make a counter attack with your helicopter. Whatever works for you, that's the advantage of the helicopter. It gives you several ways to approach the situation. 
the more you keep your helicopter strafing side to side and the more open the capture zone the better because you can see enemy players who are closely approaching unlike ones next to buildings where an unsuspected player could be posting up getting their Panzer Faust ready. If capping objectives isn't your way of getting high tier loot, how about going around the map and picking up the supply drops that land on the ground? They're easily noticeable by their green smoke they give off, and they take less time capturing objectives. All you need to do is swoop down, jump out quickly, open a supply drop, pick up your items, then jump back into the helicopter and go find the next one. Really, there's a lot of advantages of having the helicopter. Just the sheer interaction of all these things combined overall would just benefit your skill more. Whether it's a knowledge about the map with the more locations you can travel in one game or by finding more enemy players to battle, the more interactions you have with will cause you to grow with experience and overall will just naturally make you a better player at Firestorm. It will be a lot of things you'll have to learn like landing properly and getting a better gauge on how to not throw your helicopter across the map and destroy it. Um, you'll have to learn how to um, know when to put your helicopter away, when it's giving you too much attention and it's a little bit too much for you to handle. You'll have to discover that more and more as you play, but hopefully I pointed it out a few good points for you guys to make you really want to grab this helicopter the moment you see it spawn on the map. But hopefully that helps you guys out. Feel free to let me know you guys' thoughts down in the comments below. But that is it for you guys today. Again, I always appreciate you guys being here. I am living. I'll catch you guys again later.